everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a magical Friday or whatever day of the week you are watching this. Today is Thrift Flip Friday. This is episode number five now. Ooh, girl, we have done a lot of these videos. If you don't know about Thrift Flip Friday, we basically talk about reselling things that you already have in your house to kind of create some space, create a little extra income. Hey, are you interested too? We talk about thrifting to resell and how to sell your things actually on the Depop app. It's my favorite app to use. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about how to increase your sales on Depop, how to make everything look pretty, look nice. I have really fallen into my little brand on Depop as I have sold throughout the years. I know what things work well for me and what things don't. So I wanna give you all the tips and tricks that I use to increase your sales, get a lot of followers so you have a lot of potential customers, you know, coming to get all your goods. So make sure if you are excited for this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you are not already part of our tribe, hit that subscribe button down there. If you're new, my name's Tayluna. We do all sorts of spiritual videos on this channel. And this is just the very beginning of our more entrepreneur. I can't say that word. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneurial. 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 Is that how you say it? If you want to be a boss ass entrepreneur, <laughs> this is the very beginning of so, 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 so much. I get a lot of questions from you guys about how I work from home, how I make enough to pay my bills and all of the things. And this is a really, really big part of how I do that. So this is the beginning, but definitely not even close to the end. We're gonna be diving into so much more of this magic over the next few months. Like I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and link all of the other episodes from this series down below. If you don't have a shop yet, if you don't know what to sell yet, I'm gonna leave those videos down below. It's gonna help you kind of kickstart your Depop store, start going through all of your things in your home, decluttering, getting some inventory, basically things that you already have. Um, and this is for the more established Depop user. If you have a shop, if you have a couple items on your shop, you're getting a little comfortable with it, then this is for you and I have, ooh, so many tips. <laughs> so you have your Depop store, you've maybe sold a, Okay, you've maybe sold a couple things or maybe you haven't quite yet and you just need a little bit of help kickstarting all of this goodness, you know? You wanna make a little extra cash, you wanna get all of that crap out of your closet that you never touch anymore, so let's get to work. The first thing that is super important is the overall just aesthetics of your Depop store. If you guys are new to Depop, then you are probably figuring out that it is very similar to the layout of Instagram, which is very aesthetic Based. You know, it is about those photos and how good they look together. Um, if you shop a lot on Depop too, I'm sure you have noticed a lot of people get really, really artistic and creative with their, their photos and stuff, which is really fun. I really like that aspect of it. Of course, that's not for everybody to each their own. Um, but just keeping in mind that when you go to somebody's shop, you want to see nicely taken photos. You want to see the garments or, or the decor or whatever laid out very nicely. So your photos are actually one of the most important parts of this whole thing. The amount of sales that you make, the amount of people that are going to see and actually pay attention to the things that you post, the amount of followers that you have, which, you know, when I say followers, it doesn't matter like, oh, I want a lot of followers because I just want them. When you're selling on Depop, if you have a lot of followers, you have a lot of, you have this like big family, this big group of potential customers. So every time you post a new item, all of those people are gonna see it. That's a lot of potential customers. So you wanna get that number up and one of the one of the best ways to do it is to just make sure that you have nice photos. When I started, my pictures were definitely not the, you know, the cutest. I had like a white fur rug that definitely needed to be cleaned. And I laid everything out on there and took pictures and posted it and you know, Business was okay. If you find that your pictures aren't getting a lot of attention or your listings aren't getting a lot of attention, one of the best things that you can do first off is just retake the photos. I even did in one of my Depop vlogs, I, I can't remember which one exactly, they're all linked below, but in one of them I talked about how um, I have a lot of items in my store that have been sitting in there for months 
or even years since the very beginning of this whole Depop journey that I've you know started for myself So if you notice that there are specific things that are not getting any or a lot of attention One of the best things you can do is just go and take new pictures take it to a new spot use a different background If it's clothing and you you know took a picture of it laying on the ground or on your bed Maybe try taking a picture wearing it um, or get a you know get get a friend to take a picture of you or if you don't have that Set up a little video app on your phone and record yourself and do a couple cute poses. Screenshot those hoes, put them up on Depop. You know, just kind of experiment with your pictures because that's really like, when people are going to search through tags and stuff like that on Depop, that's the first thing they're gonna see. The second that I added new photos of a couple of those items that I'd had for a long time, I sold one within 20 minutes, so. Trust me, it makes a big difference. Another thing that I really like, especially when I am going shopping on the app, is when people have their stores nicely organized. Um, and people do this in different ways. You can organize it so all of your, if you have clothes, I'm just using that as an example. If you have all of your pants grouped together and then all of your shorts and then all of your tops and then, you know, you can do it like that. But the main thing for me is just sort out the items that you have already sold so I'm not scrolling through them. That's like super annoying and it gets to the point where it's like I don't know if I should keep scrolling because I don't know if like all of these items are available or if they're actually sold or not. So I would just make sure to cycle out all of those sold listings so they at least are laying on the very bottom and not kind of all spread out throughout your feed. And the way that you can do that and the way that you can also organize your shop in any way that you want is to just repost the things that you have. So I'm gonna give you an example. My shop policies is not at the top. It's right here, hey. So in order to bring it to the top, all I have to do is hit edit at the bottom I don't even have to change or do anything. I just hit edit and then I hit the little arrow to repost it. And then it's automatically sent to the very, very top of my store. So you're basically gonna just repost your items so they are then sent to the top of your store and you're not gonna touch the sold listing. I don't even think you can repost a sold listing cause like what would the point be of that? So it's naturally just gonna fall to the bottom of your shop as you continue to either repost things or post new things entirely. So this can come in handy for multiple reasons. You can move your sold listings to the bottom which is a huge thing for me personally. Again, everyone's different. Um, that also allows you to organize things however you want them. When you post them, they might not be in a pretty order. Like for me, I usually post a random group of stuff um, and I'll go in and reorganize it later. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you post a bunch of random items, cool, pick a day where you are gonna go and organize your shop. So take all of your, and I'm just gonna use again clothing as an example, go through all of your pants first and repost all of your pants and all of them will be sent to the top of your store and then move on to the next category. So you can do your shorts and then you do all of those. So you can do this with every category to just kind of organize it and it can be in any order that suits you. Um, but I'm gonna just kind of show you what I mean. So if you scroll to the bottom of my shop, I have all of my shoes and then I have all of my pants. I have a couple bodysuits, one skirt, <laughs> or just kidding. I have a couple skirts and bodysuits, then I have all of my shorts, all of my sports bras, swimwear, tops, purses and accessories, and then it gets into jewelry, and then I get to home decor. For me, I don't really organize my home decor in any specific category, but I do like to keep all of the clothing and other things that I post organized like that. So you can use the whole repost feature, it's not really a feature, it's kind of a secret, to do that. Another reason that you're gonna wanna repost your items anyway is because when you do that, it sends your item back to the top of everybody else's feed. All of the tags that you use, all of the keywords that you use on that particular post, if somebody types it in and you have recently reposted it, it's gonna send your listing to the very top of that tag. 
example time. Well, I have this really cute lotus flower tea light holder. And what I mean by tags on Depop is a little different than tags on Instagram. Depop gives you the option to use up to five hashtags, but you don't really even need to use the hashtag symbol. You can just type the word out like a keyword and it is still searchable. So just a little tip for you there. You don't have to worry about, you know, putting the hashtag symbol and stuff. It really makes no difference. So I'm going to just use the keyword Lotus as an example. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. When I typed in the word Lotus, this is all the stuff that pops up. This is the very top of the feed. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to repost this listing. So you hit edit and then you hit the little arrow button. So now that I've reposted it, I researched the word Lotus. And as you can see, my listing is now at the very top of the search results. That's what you want. <laughs> you want your listings to show up at the very top when somebody searches something, right? So if the more you repost your items like that, the more people are going to see it. So I honestly try and I have a lot of items listed on my shop, like hundreds. So instead of doing all of them every day, I usually do little groups of items that I repost every day. Anytime you get bored, you can go in and repost some items. If you don't have that much stuff in your closet, I would do it every single day if you can. Just go in and repost all of that. It's gonna help you so, 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 so much. I promise. So if you are new to Depop and you don't have very many followers, you don't, you're not following many people probably, the best piece of advice that I can give you is to go shopping. Even if you just go window shopping, go and find accounts or go and find other shops that are similar to what you sell. I sell bohemian home decor, ritual stuff, crystals, so what I would do is I would go in and I would search for some crystals. I would favorite the ones that I really like, follow the shops that sell crystals that I really like. And this is going to be huge for you. I'm going to use Haley's as an example. If you guys didn't know, Haley also has a Depop shop now with a lot of crystals and a lot of cute clothes and stuff like that. So I'm going to use her shop as an example. What you're going to want to do when you find a shop that's super similar to yours or one that you just really enjoy is you're going to want to like go through all of their shit. <laughs> the first thing that I like to do is go through their followers, which is this one here. And you can either take the route of going through and only following the accounts that you actually like, or you can just follow everybody. I don't mind following a bunch of people. Um, it's not like Instagram, you know, the numbers don't matter. You just want to be able to have those followers as a group of potential customers. So if you know, if you find a shop and it's similar to yours, you have a pretty good chance that those people would also like the items that you're selling. So it's a really good idea to just go in and follow everyone that is following that person. Another really good tip if you need more active people on your Depop store, find a post that they recently made. So Haley just posted this really cute crystal tree. So fucking cute, right? And you can see that a bunch of people liked it, which means that they're, they're active. She posted this three days ago. So within the last three days, all of these people were active online and went and liked this post. So you can go in where it says all these people that liked her post and just go in and follow all of them because you know that they're active. You want people that are active. You want people that are looking for the things that you are selling. This is a crystal, I sell crystals. So the odds of the people that liked her post liking the crystals that I also posted are very high. So it makes sense to just go through and follow all of them. They're gonna get a notification that you followed them. They're gonna come and check out your shop. They're probably gonna follow you back. They're probably gonna go through and like a bunch of items in your store. It's just a win-win. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I told Haley to do that when she started and she's already sold seven items and she just started a couple weeks ago. 
So that's really good. I also told my other brother to do that and he has basically sold out everything that he's posted so far. So it's really, really smart to do that. Ooh, one more tip that I have for you guys if you are listing a lot of things, even if you're not and you're just lazy and you don't wanna keep typing out the same description, make a note section in your phone so that you can just copy and paste it to all of the items that you're listing. So this is my Depop notes section in my phone. I have all of my little bullet points that I put underneath my descriptions so message me with requests I do discounts on bundles um, I ship in four to six days depending on when you buy it um, I put my Instagram handle so that people can tag me when they buy decor I like to see it decorated in their house they can subscribe for a discount so I have my little note section and then I also right underneath have a bunch of hashtags or keywords that kind of are relevant to basically anything that I could be posting. So decor, bohemian, spiritual, crystals, stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot easier and like a total time saver if you kind of type out some hashtags that would be pretty relevant for most of the things that you would be posting. You can just have that saved in your notes so when you go to post an item, I'll just copy that whole section. I'll type out my little description for the individual item and you know add my little emojis and stuff. And then you can just paste all of your tags and all of your little bullet points right below it. It's just gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier, like, I promise. And it's really nice to be able to add those bullet points because you can make it more of a social moment, you know? If you are looking to expand this eventually into more of a business, into more of an online store, you want to make those connections with people. So when by me putting my Instagram profile there, I have a lot of people that buy from me that then come to my Instagram, they post pictures of their items, we can chat, we can connect, I can make those bonds so that they come back, purchase from me again, um, and it's just gonna be overall really good for you in a business aspect and in like, just a social aspect, you know? Getting to know your customers, especially if you're selling things that you're passionate about. You know, I sell like decor and crystals, which I'm super passionate about both. So it's nice to make those connections with people that have like-minded interests as I. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I rambled enough for this video. I hope it wasn't too unorganized. I just had a lot of things in my brain that I wanted to pour out and, you know, some advice to give you, if you will. So let me know if these are helping you guys out or if you have any questions. You can reach out to me in the comments below or if you want to get a hold of me quicker, just head to my Instagram. You can DM me at Tayluna. I'm usually really good about getting back to you guys there because I'm on it all the time. <laughs> a lot faster than YouTube. So if you have an urgent question just pop over to my Instagram and um, I think that's everything you guys remember that if you do check out my Depop store and you are subscribed to my channel you get 10% off your order so message me before you buy anything I will adjust the price for you I want you to get your discount you know what I'm saying um, and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel for supporting my shop it means the world to me it puts food on my plate you know like literally this is a huge huge part of my online career um, and I'm just really excited to be sharing all these tools with you guys so that you can do the same thing I started selling clothes I had in the back of my closet and now I'm making enough to substitute a part-time job by just selling things that I go and thrift and find so um, I hope that you guys are starting your Depop journey I wanted to give a shout out to my girl Mandy. She has been a return customer of mine and she has been one of those people that reaches out to me on all the different platforms and she recently made a Depop store for herself. So I'm gonna go ahead and link her down below. Please go and check her out, give her some love. And um, I'm so excited for you, Mandy. I'm so excited to see what this grows into. And um, she actually DM'd me the other day asking how to get more followers on Depop. So Girl, here you go. I hope this helps you. The next episode, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how, thr okay, not now. <laughs> In the next episode, I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about how thrift shopping or just secondhand shopping in general is literally saving the planet. It is such a sustainable option. So if you're not thrifting to resell, maybe you're just shopping on Depop instead of going to the mall and getting some things and that is doing so much for the 
environment, so much of the planet that you probably don't even realize and I really want to spill all that tea for you. So make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you are looking forward to it and I will see you on Friday for the next episode but probably on Monday for another spiritual video from yours truly. <laughs> I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you on Monday. Bye. Mwah.